Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to create a cathedral gain pattern using the Copernicus network in Houdini. So let's move into Houdini. In Houdini I am going to use Solaris workspace. In Solaris workspace I already created one very basic object on which I am going to apply my texture. So here we have that material for wood in which I just create one grid. I apply unwrap onto it, apply little poly extrude and just recalculate normal. And one more thing that is ground. Okay, so to apply this particular process, I'm going to use one quick surface material. And this material is for wood. I'm going to create one more quick material. which is for ground. Okay, so let's focus on to this material. So I just need to select this material. I just move on to my property panel in which here I have color map. So I just need to activate that. So set or create. Now to apply one Copernicus network into this, I need to click on to this particular button create cop texture for this map so when you click on to that we get one cop network container so if you go inside that we have this base color so basically it reflect on to that particular parameter so i again jump into my stage and i just need to select this one now i also need specular roughness map so for that i need to activate this one and again click on to this button similar manner i want bump map and i'm going to create bump style to be normal so here i need to click that set create normal map and again i click on to this particular button so now if you go inside this cop network we'll have this base color specular roughness and bump normal and it also provide you one very basic checkerboard so i do not need this so i just delete all the checker stuff like this okay and we will start to create texture procedural texture for our cathedral grain pattern so for that reason i just expand this particular panel and here I'm going to apply one tile pattern. Now the good thing with Copernicus is that we can visualize our outcomes within that 3D space. So I just set like this and now I just reduce the division to be 4. So right now I'm working on that bull eyes of our pattern. So I do not want this particular grid. So I just move a little bit down and here we have that insect. So I need to set it to be zero. Okay. Now here I just apply one UE transform and I just connect UE to UE. So now if you checked over here, we get that UE patterns like this. Okay. So now my next step is that I'm going to create one ramp in which I just change my ramp type to be concrete which basically give you circular pattern. Now I just move like make it white and end should be zero as well as I just need to reduce the radius of this particular circle. So for that I just increase number of cycle or maybe you can move this particular locator to left hand side but right now I'm just using this number of cycle okay around 3.3 uh, or something like that okay now I'm going to create one sample operator image sample in which I need to define 
my UV. So that is there. And this should be my texture. So I apply like this. So now I get this circular pattern on each and every block of this particular tile pattern. Okay, but I need this particular circle to be uh, randomized in size. Okay, so for that reason, what am I going to do is that I just select this UV transform in which I need to apply uh, seeds to be randomized. So for that, I'm going to use this ID. So I just apply ID as my seed. And here in randomize option, you have that uniform scale minimum and maximum. So here I just apply like maybe 0.38 and here I just apply 1.42 or something like that. Okay, so now we get this randomization in size. Okay, so now next step, what am I going to do is that I just apply some noise into this particular circular pattern. So for that reason, I'm just apply one fractal noise in which I just reduce element size. So like maybe 0 0.045, so just reduce like this. And now I am just apply one multiply operation. So noise multiply with this particular circle pattern or radial circle pattern and we'll get noise onto this area. Now I just apply a little bit blur onto it. So apply blur maybe 0.2 okay as well as as we need to create that bull eyes that is little stretchy so for that reason i'm just going to apply one transform 2d in which uh, i am applying scale to be maybe three and i just reduce the height like 0.7 Okay, so we get something like this. Okay, so that I'm going to use for my that bull eyes pattern. Definitely you can increase or reduce this particular things. So I just move a bit over here. And now I'm working on uh, other noise patterns. So for that reason, I'm going to apply one fractal noise. In which I just increase element size maybe 0.4 and I just apply a little variation in X and Y scale. So here I just increase maybe 7. So it just stretch like this which basically give you that little wavy straight pattern or wavy straight grain onto your wood. Okay. As well as I just need to invert this particular. So now I get invert data for that. Now what am I going to do is that I just apply one maximum operator and I'm going to calculate whatever the maximum information or maximum value apart in BG and this should be my FG and I'm going to use this particular information as my mask. So now I get something like this. Okay, and now I am creating one more fractal noise where I am going to use this particular information as my position information. And see, we will get some wood kind of pattern. I need to play with some parameters. Likewise here, I just reduce element size 0 0.035. Click onto this and I'm just reduce maybe 0.9. You can change the offset to get little variation into this. As well as give a little more detail onto this pattern, we play with these fractals. Maybe I just reduce it by 6 and lacunarity reduce it by maybe 1.95 and very important is roughness. So I just increase the roughness. Okay, 
Okay, so you will get something like this. Now definitely you need to play with those values. Like you can play with fractals and everything. Maybe increase or decrease the size of these and you will get those patterns. Now, next step is I want to convert it into color. Okay, so if you directly apply anything like mono to color, it is not properly work sometimes. So it is preferable that first you convert this noise to be in mono. So I just apply mono, apply it over here. So it will give you proper result. So now mono to RGB. So I just need to click on to this particular black point in which I just set my hue little orangish tone saturation to be 1 and this could be maybe 0.5 okay now I just need to click on to this brighter portion like this saturation maybe 1 and this could be little 0.1 like that okay so we will get something like this but I feel that it has little more saturation so if you want to manage your saturation you just create HSV adjustment in which you can change you can shift your hue even you can shift your saturation so I just reduce saturation bit like this And we will get this wood pattern like this okay so now I just apply this outcomes to be as my base color okay now I need to create specular roughness and for that reason we have this mono so I just create one branch from this and apply one remap in which I just reverse the things but I'm not making a full darker portion so I just create graph like this and apply this as my specular roughness similar manners from mono to height normal so I get like bump normal over here definitely you can adjust your value from here also or uh, through your material parameter also okay so right now i'm not going to do anything over here i just manage my bumpness directly onto my material settings so i just again jump into my stage so right now uh, we just creating our material i just go to material ground and I just apply 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 okay so I created those material but now I need to apply those material onto my object so for that reason I just create one assign material operator here I have two primitives so I just click on to this plus button now I just need to apply this wood that is my object this is my ground object and now I have this material for ground so I just apply onto material path and here I have material for wood so I just apply into material path for wood okay so now I get this material like this and definitely I create one camera for this so new camera adjust my camera like this quickly apply one dom light I have texture go to HDRI and I'm going to use this skylit garage and activate my karma CPU and see we will get this wooden pattern so I just zoom close to my pattern and I need to 
set my bump map okay so right now it is little more bumpy so i just click on to this material wood where i have this bump scale is right now 0.025 so i just reduce it by 0 0.0005 Okay, so when you close to this particular object you will feel that bumpiness and if you're far from that you will get that pattern okay so now you just need to play with parameters and you will achieve some good result likewise if i jump inside this cop network and maybe i just reduce this tile pattern to be we have division to be four so i just reduce it by three and now if you check outcomes of that we'll get some different pattern okay jump out of this so with different value you can get some more outcomes so that's how you can create your cathedral grain pattern hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another tutorial thank you